In this chapter, we will look into angular constraint goals in Grasshopper. Angle goal keeps two line segments at a given angle relative to each other. If no angle is supplied, the starting angle is used. It also requires additional goals to affect an initial shift in the angle between the line segments. Let's understand it through an example. You may open the grasshopper file provided in the resource folder to follow along. Construct a curve in Rhino and reference it into a curve container component. Discretize the curve into points using the divide curve component. Connect the points using the polyline command, and explode it to extract a list of line segments between the divided points. Bring the angle goal component into the canvas. The inputs required are line A, line B, rest angle, and strength. Angle goal is specified between a pair of lines. The component creates two vectors using the start and end points of each line. The term angle refers to the angle between these two vectors and not the actual angle between these lines. For example, a rest angle of 0.5 times pi means that the lines will move towards a condition where the angle between the vectors is equal to the specified rest angle. Since the angle goal works with pairs of lines, we need to create two lists of line segments. The first one must consist of line segments between index 0 to 8, and the other list must have lines between index 1 to 9. To do this, cull index 0 from the original list of line segments, and create the shortest list between the original list and the culled list. The resulting lists will have 9 items each. List A has line segments from index 0 to 8, and list B has line segments from index 1 to 9. These two lists can be used as inputs with the angle command. Set the rest angle input to 0.5 times pi. The other goals to be set up in this definition are anchor and length line. For this definition, we will only anchor the start point of the input curve. The length line component will receive the original line segments as input geometry. And the length input will be 0.5 times the length of each line. This spring force will generate the initial thrust to displace the points from their start position and activate the angle component. Collect all goals into the merge component and connect the consolidated goal output into the solver. Run the solver, and the resulting line network obeys the angle constraint. Vary the rest angle input, and notice the change in the line network. Kangaroo Library offers six types of angle goals, 
and they all function in the same way with minor variations. The angle snap function snaps the angle parameter to the closest whole number value. The clamp angle function defines a numeric range of angles, offering flexibility for convergence. The equal angle function equalizes the angle between all pairs of line segments. The rod function offers more options. Unlike the angle goal, this goal requires a polyline input. It combines spring force and angular bending within the same component through length factor and angle factor. It also allows users to define the axial and bend strength value, which is used as multipliers to scale the spring and angle force. Try the different angle goals and angle parameters to get familiar with these goals. In the next chapter, we will learn how to set up a hanging chain model with multiple connected line networks.